V, it's good you're here. I had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... Their family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out! The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always, Panham. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldas. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V. What's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay. How do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. Reader so gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections.
Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh yeah, we even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... 
Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Sol I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just... See that? That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. But if things get noisy, I'll be your long-distance insurance pop. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there.
I think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. Cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, so. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. We can be just as sly together. Might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead.
just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. That's probably a good idea. Good idea. That's probably a good idea. No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. Ouch. Do I know them? I guess not, since they're not giving me dialogue options. Okay. You see those buildings? We'll no. Wait out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Oh boy, this is going to be rough. Oh shit. Inside, quick. I need to catch my breath. Holy shit. I can barely see. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. At least you ate. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. The European Space Agency started out with seemingly noble intentions. We'll open the door to the universe, a solar system, a home to all, and so on and so forth. It didn't take long for those cat for these blah, 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 for these catchphrases to reveal themselves for what they truly were. Colonial ambitions wrapped in wrapped up in lofty ideals. We the builders and first inhabitants of O'Neill One have witnessed this firsthand. The ESA sent us this seems familiar. Hey. Uh huh. Let me see. A lot of useful things. Dangles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, right. Sell us your land. You don't know that. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Vest. Wonder about that. Oh, lo oh Lord Jesus. Well, more glitches have arrived. Oh, you look cool in it. I like it. I like it. Guns, max stock, interesting stuff. It's been long since I played this game. Smuggling. If you want to transfer goods, you need contacts. Without contacts, forget about doing business. Who will you need to pay off? Customs, officers, guards, the people at the gas stations. Don't forget the motels. You take care of that. You can show up and vanish as you please, keep them happy, and they'll know when to turn a blind eye. It's also a good idea to strike a rep report with the fellows from Orbital Air. 
That is, if you're planning to ship something into orbit, remember those boxes full of seedlings last year? That could only have happened because my boys at OA Customs looked the other way for 15 seconds. Make sure you are well equipped, don't use standard signal jammers, customs agents are stupid, they'll know you're hiding something at the border. Besides, which there are no models they can't disable. Use upgraded jammers that work hyperlocally in the exact place you're hiding the goods. Secure packages of ice ideally brought from us you can trust family. Use your imagination. Do you know how I managed to transport a few dozen pounds of drugs to SoCal? I paid the right people not to ask any questions and hitched a ride with an all-foods convoy. Nobody realized that several containers of food were packed full with drugs. Plan your routes carefully. You have up-to-date Border Patrol routes and areas scanned in real time by corporate satellites. And you have good old American roads. Use back roads and roots that corporate convoys would drive Floyd. You can also dance around those mount old minefields since the cars don't patrol there anymore. Although apparently by now they know we pass through there and it's only a matter of time. Use the tunnels as a last resort. These days it's usually a one way trip. You go through one and the second you're out of the satellites have a lock on you. So in case you do, step on it. And most of all, brothers and sisters don't get caught. Got it. Okay. Oh hey, money. Ah, there's bugs here. So, is Damn, everyone okay? Cold. I tried to get us some heat in here. No luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. I'll try to do that. This is killing me. Let's hope that worked, even though it didn't close all that well. I got the magic stick. Days from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today is our lucky day. Lucky, interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture, but we do need to talk. That raid's crap, it shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. We'll be mad, but... I think Saul could be right. What? Why? Know how things work in Night City? Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger chumbas. You're talking about gangs. Principles are the same out here. Ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking... <laughs> Gotta agree with Pan Am. 
Sounds like a truly shitty idea. I just realized what she said. And I'm what stupid. Can you know about it? You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste. No. Hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in Night City. The corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I, I should have said that, which is stupid. You know what, sweetheart? You have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats. The more later. I think about it, I'm That's very stupid. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Ah, boobs. Damn, I love that word. Yeah. Well, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes <laughs> on. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. <laughs> oh, and what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. <laughs> your wish? Is our command. <laughs> I would settle for a soft pillow. Might prove hard to come by. We'll see. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Thanks. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, shall I? Not a wink. Yeah, she's snoring. She's out, boys. She's out. Can I get out of the chair now? Oh shit. Hi Keanu. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Glad you were in on the joke too, Johnny. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> A way to play with the bit, you know? Oh, shit. Ugh. I didn't pay attention. That was why Reese did it. I was like, oh, shit. Maybe I should listen more. I was dumb. <laughs> Oh god, I'm glaring. Yeah, I don't know. I always try to think of decisions, and I'm like, you know what? I didn't like my decision before. Maybe I should try again. And I did. Which was good. Because I was very out of it. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet, so... Nice that music's playing. Or, in the recording, music hasn't played.
Oh, my bra is clipping out of my shirt. Luckily, my boobs are not out, which is weird. I pretty sure I have it uncensored. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. Me? <laughs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Alda Caldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Ah, that's a beautiful sunrise nice and everything. We were talking to Saul. Thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Really? Your compensation. Me? Please take care of her. She served me well. What? The sniper rifle? Where? 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 Oh. It's called the Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> But you're in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Maybe meet with Hanako, or I can do a bit of side missions and check out how things are good in the game, which will be in next video. Actually, about me showing off glitches and me just having conversations with myself. So. Yeah. You know, way to do it. How you feeling? <coughs> Free. No better feeling in the world. <coughs> you all bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. Hey. I'm a cool person. So... I did what I try. Catch you on the flip side, guys. Time to have the uh, open air. Hopefully it's early in the morning. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Oh. Is it 7 a.m.? I mean, it's not morning. Okako Okada. I have a Quadra Turbo for sale. I don't care. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deeds about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? We're not done talking. But you do well to hear Judy out, or we'll make sure your worst fear comes true. Oh, stand to lose my youth, at ease, and influence? Something's gonna happen, but you'll be the last to know. Huh. We 
need you. Can't do what we want to do without you. You mean making better life choices? We want to help the dolls. Dolls make more eddies than anyone else in the industry. Thanks to the chip, they experience no trauma. Every whore in Night City wants to work here. It's the Tiger Claws that are the problem, and people like Woodman. He raped Evelyn while she was unconscious, then sold her off like so much scrap. What you two are out to do is impossible. Completely beyond your means. So, you won't help. I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. That went smoothly. She didn't even let me make my point. Probably needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Do you have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodland? Cyberus, purple horse. It's Oscrox. After making waves in Tokyo, you sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. Upgrade. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. 
She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Submerse yourself in orange pulsators. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. It was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. I'll never even know they were in danger. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Now he comes easy. I get back to Maiko with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Maiko only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Maiko's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. <laughs> 